Can you say my name? to ghost hunting apps are a bit mm, we don't know whether to trust them or not do we uh, there's loads of apps out there most of them are just you know they're just toys you know they're just sensors ghost sensor ooh, and all this crap but I've been watching a lot of videos in fact Mickey put me onto this I've been watching some of Mickey's vlogs let's give you his um, YouTube channel uh, Mickey York. So there's our Mickey from um, UK Haunted. Now he's been doing a few videos with this app. Uh, some of the stuff he's getting on it is pretty good. Now the thing with apps, like you've got to have an open mind. Like if, especially if it's through your phone, you know, could it be connected? to your contacts in your phone so like if it gives a name could it give you your name you know but it's doing that through the phone or if you're at a certain location and it actually says that location could it be connected to the location thingamajiggy in your phone but so far this I mean I downloaded this yesterday it is 10 quid from the app store but like I said I've watched a lot of videos about it this app's Apparently it's got no words all built into the app. It's just a load of noises, random noises like E, A, Na, Ni, Nu, you know, and the, the spirits put the words together. So it shouldn't say a proper word. Now I did use this last night at work. And we did get some pretty good stuff. And we didn't give it any answers neither. You know, basically, as, as soon as we turned the app on, me and John, uh, after about two seconds, it said work, which is pretty cool. Uh, we did ask it questions about things to do with the location that it wouldn't necessarily know. And like, what's the name of the company? It said that. We got a few names. We got a little sentence about another room things like that so overall I was pretty impressed with it now I came back home last night used it at home downstairs sat with it for about 15 minutes didn't get nothing now again that could be quite good because this isn't an haunted house you know we, we've had a few things go off we've had a few we get passes through you know love family that we've lost we get the odd smell and that but we don't get really a weird happening here so yeah, we did sit there for ages and we got nothing. So again, that could be positive because if it's spaffing out words all the time, then it's obviously a load of rubbish. You know, you could it's like ovulus is you know, ovulus is a pretty good, but you know, you can turn it on and it could start saying rainbow, hills, car, bus, incense, diamonds, you know, and it's got absolutely nothing to do with where you are. So I had this on for like 20 minutes. Last night it didn't say nothing. I asked it loads of questions, got nothing. But yeah, at work in this building that's like 120 years old and we do have a lot of weird stuff that goes on in there. You know, people have died in that building. Instantly we was getting quite a lot and it was to do with the building. So again, that's pretty good. So I mean, out of 10 for last night, and yeah, I, I pretty much give it like an eight already because it, it's quite good. So like I say, this isn't an haunted house. We're in the middle of the day, sun's out, it's all nice and chilled, but I'm gonna try an experiment here. Uh, my mum died 10 years ago, um, and she had a doll from when she was a kid. Now this doll lives in the corner of my bedroom over there. She's been there sat in that corner for what, yeah, I'd say 10 years since mum died. Now there's always something about this doll, whether it's a doll or not, and it's the old thing about, like, you know, got through. But even now in bed, I don't like to know I can see the doll. I've got to like, move the covers or something. 
Now, I know it was my mum's doll. She was an amazing person. You know, everybody loved her. You know, it can't be. If there is something in that doll, it's not bad. Even if it is bad, I'm not getting rid of it because the fact is it's my mum's doll. You know, it might say, uh, get out, demon, or whatever. But it ain't going nowhere. So, I just want to, I'm just interested in trying. And especially if it does say some, uh, yeah, say if it says my mum's name, I'll be like blown away. And it will be amazing. You know, we might get nothing. You know, we'll see. But like I said, we're going to keep trying with this app and we're going to go to different places. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. The app's called Necrophonic on the App Store. So. Yeah. This is the app. It's really simple. You've got start, stop. You've got echo, reverb. You've got white noise if you want it. Now, again. Apparently there's no words built into this whatsoever, it's just sounds, it's just fragments of sounds. You know, the developer says there's no words in it whatsoever, it's not connected to anything in your phone, like your microphone or anything like that. Which I do sort of believe, because if it was, when you installed the app it would say this app needs access to your contacts, or it needs access to your microphone, and you normally have to tick yes, don't you? Well this doesn't say any of that. So what we're going to do, we're just going to press start, we're not going to have no echo, no reverb on it, and nothing. And we're just going to see what happens, and I'm going to introduce you to the doll, and you know what, I don't even know her name. It's terrible, isn't it? Mimwon must have told me her name, but I don't know. Yes, she is. Right then, hello? Can you tell me who used to own you? So. That was weird, because I thought it said Sue. Can you tell me who used to own you? Can you give us a word that we can hear clearly through here? Can you say hello? Mary. Is Mary your name? Uh, no, I'm going to put reverb on. Sometimes you can. Are you, you going to give me a message? Can you say something I'll understand? What's my name? What's my name? Can you say my name? Come on, what's your name? See, sometimes you might think you said, like, I thought it said Sue at the beginning. I thought it said Joan when I said what was the little girl's name. Well, Joan was my grandma's name. Come on, I'm going to go in a minute. Are you going to say bye then? And we'll try it again later. You're going to say bye? 
Just say bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hmm. Well, we'll keep trying anyway. But like I said, I, I don't even know if this is a haunted doll. I don't think it is. I just think it's a bit weird about it because it freaks me out. Well, we did get a couple of words. I'm going to review it and then obviously I'll put underneath what the words were. Cheers, guys. <laughs>